This is an old lady who's wait, a queen. Wait, Beethoven? Beethoven. As the official mayor of Miniland, we have all these pieces. James Carlin may not know every bust on the Block of Fame. Arnold Schwa Zenjagega. But he knew what was missing. Since there's no black skin people in this entire area. It's something he noticed on a trip to Legoland last year on MLK Day. He wanted to go see MLK, and we realized there wasn't a bust here and uh, it really resonated with him. So much that he wrote a letter. Dear Mr. Lanchetti, in Miniland there is an area for famous people, but there's no Martin Luther King Jr. Why is that? That letter sparked the first change to the block of fame since Legoland opened 20 years ago. We have Martin Luther King Jr. The new bust has 6,500 pieces. It took 40 hours to design and build a prototype and another 25 to build and glue together the final model. Because of all the new pieces, all the new colors and new techniques that LEGO offers, we were able to give the most detail out of any other model. Now Legoland's looking at more upgrades to add more diversity to the block of fame and highlight more U.S. and San Diego historic features. Here's Albert Einstein. That's a pretty good legacy for a mayor to leave behind. Very excited. I'm really excited to get the opportunity to help make him okay. Even if he's still learning about the rest of the models. What about Luciano Pavarotti? Uh, he got the world's biggest beard.